guys, this is Tony here at TD Current Kirkland, and today we're going to be talking about Handoff, explaining the requirements to run it and the steps you need to take to start using it. For those of you who don't know, Handoff is part of the new continuity features of OS X Yosemite and iOS 8. Handoff lets you start on a project on one device and pick it up on another. Handoff is the perfect solution to uninterrupted workflow. Let's check it out. First thing you're going to want to do, go to the Apple, click about this Mac, and make sure you're running a proper operating system. You will need a Mac that's at least 2012 or newer. So now we go into the iPad. We're going to go to Settings, then General, then Software Update. Just make sure our software is up to date and we can start using Handoff. We are going to need a device that has a Lightning port. This will not work on the older 30-pin models. So let's go to our computer to make sure our Wi-Fi is on the right one. For this one, it's going to be hidden. And we're going to make sure we turn Bluetooth on. Back in the iPad, same deal. Hit the Wi-Fi. We're on the same network. It looks like hidden is connected and ready to go. Now let's go to we're Bluetooth. Check. Looks like Bluetooth is on. And we want to make sure we're using the same cloud account login for both devices. So back in the iMac, let's go to General, and we want to scroll down here to Allow Handoff between this Mac and your iCloud devices. Make sure that's clicked on. Back in your iPad, you're going to want to go to General and click handoff and suggested apps to make sure handoff is turned on. So now we're going to go on to Safari in our iPad. We're going to go to our website, tdcurrent.com. If we look back at our iMac screen, we can see down here, bottom left, we have a little icon for Safari. By clicking that icon, we've allowed the iPad to hand off the information we were using to the computer. Now let's navigate to our blog. And on the lock screen on the iPad, you'll see this icon in the bottom left corner. If we hold that button and slide it up, the iPad will reflect what we were seeing in the iMac. So the computer's handed the information back off to the iPad. The handoff also works really well with contacts. If we go to our iPad and we input this new contact, Roger Williams, we can go back to our desktop and bottom left again you'll see the contacts icon pop up. And if we open that we can see the Roger Williams contact loads itself directly into our desktop. Another great feature is maps. Let's search for something. We'll try to find our location here. TD Current Kirkland. Alright, here it is. Drops a little pin. Hey, look at that Yelp review. Pretty good. So now, if we go back to our iPad and we double click the home button, we can scroll all the way to the left and there's that same kind of icon. Let's click that and there it is. That's exactly what we were looking at on our iMac and now it's here on the iPad so we can take it on the go and find this location and come pick up some rad Apple stuff. Alright, let's start a mail message to myself, Tony at TD Curran, and we're going to talk about how cool Handoff is. Wow, Handoff's really cool and I got interrupted. so. I'm going to have to finish this on my iPad, so I go back, double click the home button, scroll to the left, and let's click that mail icon. And right here we see that piece of mail that I was trying to finish, so I'll finish it up here in my iPad, talk about how cool Handoff is, and I'll send it off. Once again, this has been a brief tutorial on Handoff. If you have any other questions, feel free to stop by any of our locations or give us a call anytime. Have a great day!